Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. Before we start this exercise, I'd like to subscribe on the channel and like the video. Now, let's go for our solution. Two men exert forces of F equal 80 pounds and P equal 30 pounds on the ropes. Determine the moment of each force about A. Which way will the pole rotate, clockwise or counterclockwise? So, before we start our problem, we're going to find the components. So, here I have F, Y, and here I'm going to have our F, X. The same way, I'm going to dash up here to put our angle, 45 degree angle as well. Here I have our P, X, and pointing down. I have our P, Y. Now, we know that our P, X is equal minus P, because I'm pointing left, times cosine of 45 degrees. P, X is equal minus 30 times cosine of 45 degrees our px is equal minus 35.4 pounds now our py is equal minus p times sine of 45 minus because i'm pointing down py is equal minus 35.4 pounds as well because sine and cosine of 45 are the same now our force F. So my Fx is equal F times 4 over 5. My Fx is equal 80 times 4 over 5. So my Fx is equal 64 pounds. Now my Fy is equal minus f times 3 over 5 so my fy is equal minus 80 times 3 over 5 my fy is equal minus 48 pounds now we're gonna do our sum of moments around A, but first to our first F is equal. Here we can see that all forces align with my A, point A on the pole. They don't have moments. So in this problem, the force Fy and the force Py don't do any moment about A. So here, my Fx is doing a moment clockwise, so it's negative, and my force P is doing a moment counterclockwise that's positive. So my moments about A do my force F is minus my force, that's Fx, times the distance, D, A, F. So here, my moment about A to my F force is equal minus 64 times 12. So the moment about A to my force F is minus 768 pounds feet. Doing the same approach, I have my moments about A to my P force is equal plus, because I'm doing counterclockwise, 35.4, that's my force, times 18 feet, that's my distance. Here's my Px times my distance AP. So the moment about A doing my P force is equal 
636 pounds feet. Now, the sum of moments about A is equal. Moment A do F plus moment of A do P. So the sum of moments about A is equal minus 768 plus 636. So we have the sum of moments about A is equal 132 pounds feet negative. So our negative sign indicates that we are going clockwise. So it rotates clockwise with 132 pounds feet. Now we're going to redo the same problem with the vector approach. So here we already know that our vector f is equal 64i minus 48j and our force p is equal minus 35.4i minus 35.4j. Now, our second step we know that the distance a f is equal 12 feet in j direction and our distance d a p is equal 18 feet in j direction here's pounds pounds here's feet and feet now we're gonna use our equation of moments. Our moment is equal vector distance cross product with vector f. Now we're gonna do the first force, force f. So I'm gonna build my matrix. The first line, our axis, i, j, and k, our unit vectors. The second line is our distance vector, so it's 0, 12, and 0. And our third line is our force vector, 64, 0, 0, no, minus 48, and 0. Here, we copy the two columns to do our process and now we're gonna do everything that goes down is plus so here is zero here we have zero and here we have zero going up is negative so here i have minus 64 times 12 k minus zero i minus 0 j so the moment that my force f does about a is equal minus 64 times 12 k so my moment of f is equal minus 768 k pounds feet now we're going to do our force P. So here we're going to build our matrix I, J, K. Here we have 0, 18, and 0, minus 35.4 minus 35.40 i and j 0 18 minus 35.4 minus 35.4 so here i have 0 0 and 0 
going up, I have minus minus 35.4 times 18 K and then I have zero and zero. So my moment P about A is minus minus 35.4 times 18. So my moment of P is equal 636k pounds feet. Now we know that moment around A is equal mf plus mp. So my moment about A is equal minus 768 plus 636. So my moment about A is equal minus 132k pounds per feet. Note that the answer is the same. And here with the vector form, we know the moments around k. The minus is our clockwise direction. Thanks for watching until the end. See you in the next exercise.